Hey Hoopheads, Brad here with another breakdown and today I want to talk about the Sixers 103-94 win over the Utah Jazz. After this win, the Sixers have a defensive rating of 102.6, which is the fourth best in the league. They are now 15-6, which is just a game out of second place in the East. And this game saw great defensive efforts from Ben Simmons, who had four steals, and Matisse Thibel, who had three steals. Let's get into it. Here we see the tremendous length of Ben Simmons. He's trailing a play a little bit and just gets his hand in there and pokes it away. And there aren't too many guys in the league who can have a foot on the logo and get a steal that's almost at the three-point line. And now off the Simmons turnover, Horford gives great hustle, gets back on defense, and absolutely stuffs it. Incredible block by Al Horford, great pursuit. Bogdanovich just teed it up for him to send it home. And now Ben Simmons does a nice job of fighting through the double screen, making things difficult, then uses his length to get another steal from behind, chases it down himself, takes it across half court, and then finds Tobias Harris for the open corner three. The Sixers turning their defense into offense. And a lot of the defenses that I cover will do a lot of trapping or showing really big off a screen, but the Sixers played their screens pretty straight up with almost no help. This prevents you from getting your defense into rotation and keeps the back line in order for drives like this one, where Mitchell gets into the lane, gets it to Ed Davis, but Joel Embiid shuts it down. Nice work on the interior from the big man. Here we see Thibel negotiating the screen, then as Mitchell gets into the paint, Joel Embiid is there to scare him away. Neto gives a nice closeout on Dante Exum under control. Control. Then Thibel pokes it away and with the shot clock starting to run low, Donovan Mitchell just has to put up a three from the top of the arc. He misses. He was 0 for 4 from deep in this game. Now end of the first quarter, Ed Davis comes to set the screen for Joe Ingles. Ingles gets switched on to Embiid, heads into the paint, gives him a couple pump fakes. Embiid doesn't buy it. He blocks the shot. Good defensive discipline by Joel Embiid. Here again, the Sixers only give the screen single coverage. Mike Conley gets into open space, but Thibel recovers, and when Conley picks up his dribble, he discovers that he has no pass. The Sixers have done a great job of cutting off all the passing lanes, so Conley has to wait for a cut for somebody to get open. In that time, he drags his pivot foot. That's a turnover. Great D by the Sixers. And now as Bogdanovich cuts up to catch it at the top of the key, Ben Simmons gets caught on the wrong side of a Rudy Gobert screen, fights through, gets a hand up to challenge. Thibel comes over and challenges as well. Big time air ball from Boyan Bogdanovich. Now as Conley cuts back door, Simmons gets his hand up and so does Thibel to prevent the pass over the top. As Boyan hands it off to Conley, Thibel and Simmons spring a trap on him. He gets it to the corner and look where Al Horford comes from to block this shot. Great anticipation by Al Horford. He's already on the move to the corner before the pass is even thrown. This ignites the fast break. The defense never gets set and Ben Simmons gets right to the rim. And now Tobias Harris showing Jeff Green exactly what he thinks of his shooting by sagging off him into the paint. Gives up the wide open three and Jeff Green does not make him pay. Now off the turnover, Ben Simmons immediately switches to pressuring the ball. Conley turns back the other way, throws the pass, and Matisse Thibel comes streaking in from the front court to pick it off. Tosses the alley-oop up to Ben Simmons, and that's beautiful defense, great offense. Nice work by Ben Simmons to put that initial pressure on and get this whole play started. And of course, nice work by Thibel to get in the passing lane. Now off a made basket, the Jazz try and run it. But as Boyan picks up his dribble, Al Horford is in perfect position to prevent the pass to Rudy Gobert. Boyan bobbles it, throws it right to Ben Simmons, who takes it the other way. James Ennis drills a corner three, and that's another bucket off a Jazz turnover. Now as Conley comes off the screen, Thibel comes down to put a little extra pressure on him. Thibel gives a nice closeout to Donovan Mitchell, stays with him, and as Mitchell gets into the lane, Thibel is able to poke it away out of bounds. After coming off the bench in the first half, Thibel got the start in the second half and he didn't take long to make his mark. On this play, he almost gets the steal just by having active hands as Donovan Mitchell tries to whip a pass over the top. He gets a hand on it, tips it to half court. Boyan Bogdanovich dribbles it off his leg and the Sixers are going the other way. Now Thibel stays with Conley as he dribbles through the lane. The ball goes to Gobert at the free throw line and look how Embiid is playing him. Gobert is not a threat at all to hit this shot, so Embiid is just totally sagging off of him. Now Gobert tries to get rid of it, but Thibel does a great job of keeping a hand in the passing lane. He pokes it away. The Sixers take it the other way. Don't get anything off the initial break, but Matisse Thibel, the trailer, hits the three from the top of the arc. 
And here, Donovan Mitchell pitches it to Conley, but Simmons cuts off the drive for Conley, who kicks it back out to Donovan Mitchell. But Thibel gets his hand in the passing lane yet again, chases it down, and secures the ball. And now Matisse Thibel fights through the Ed Davis pick, gets back into the play, gets a hand up as Donovan Mitchell tries to shoot. He has nowhere to go. He passes it to Ingles, and Ennis picks it off. Nice work by Thibel to stay in that play. And now off an Ed Davis block, watch Ben Simmons in a full sprint, getting back on defense, and as Mitchell tries to throw the pass, Simmons gets a hand on it, goes off his leg. That's another turnover for the Jazz on what should have been an easy fast break bucket. All thanks to the hustle from Ben Simmons. Here as Gobert flips the screen at the top, Donovan Mitchell gets into the lane, but Horford does a nice job of shutting it down. The ball goes out to Joe Ingles, and Thibel does a nice job of containing him. Then Gobert picks him off. Ingles tries to throw the bounce pass on the roll, but Al Horford does a fabulous job of getting a hand on it and ripping it away from Gobert. Great hands by Al Horford there. And now Thibel on Ingles again, does a good job getting over the screen, stays with him step for step. Ingles has to push off, the refs call an offensive foul. And now with time running out on the Jazz, Joe Ingles gets into the lane, tries to throw the bounce pass to Rudy Gobert, and Bede gets a hand on it, recovers the ball. That's a steal, and the Sixers will go on to win this one. Overall, this was a really nice showing for the Sixers without Josh Richardson. Matisse Thibel does a nice job of stepping in and stepping up his game. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, hit that subscribe button and let me know what you've thought of the Sixers defense in the comments.